In Willoughby, there's a community initiative that combines nature with art. News 5's Cameron Justice tells us how that project is slithering along at Osborne Park. I think it's really cool. It makes it cool because not only do you get to put a rock, you also get to create an Aussie the snake. Along the walkway at Osborne Park lies an art project with a mission. We have a wonderful snake competition here at the park. What started as a competition between seven different parks. So we received an email from National Parks and Trails Recreation District to be in their challenge and um, to create the longest snake to have the most rocks in the snake has turned into something bigger. Look at these rocks. Wow. Willoughby's snake is called Ozzy, and the purpose is to bring the community together. Community members are encouraged to paint their own rocks, bring it to the park, and put it at the end of Ozzy the snake. It's a project that everybody can do, anybody, any age. They can come and pick up a rock paint it and then add it to our snake. Willoughby has seen a strong response in the first few days of launching Ozzy the Snake. We've already um, replenished the rocks once with um, two five gallon buckets of rocks. So that's great. We've received phone calls. People have come to our, and dropped off rocks at our office to bring down for them also. With groups joining the fun, like Chris, an Eagle Scout who organized a community rock painting event, this project has people young and old feeling creative. My rock would probably look like um, I would grab a rock and maybe put some green and then maybe put like, you know, green gems, you know, like, like green colored. Like theme. a snake. Yeah. And as Ozzy the snake winds its way through the park with the addition of new rocks, there are high hopes for the painted stone serpent. If so many people come to this park, I honestly feel like that it's going to be about 50 feet long. In Willoughby, Cameron Justice, News 5.